Hello people of the Multistream team and uh, welcome on this tutorial of uh, yeah of Rome Total War. Uh, today I'm gonna let you guys see how you do the hot seats. Uh, maybe uh, you guys know uh, as you can see on this playlist uh, I'm doing a Rome Total War hot seat campaign and I will uh, show you guys uh, how you actually do a hot seat. So uh, I found this hot seat uh, by this guy. Uh, this guy created it. It's he's called Mirdral. Uh, yeah, and uh, you have a full tutorial here, but I will show you guys in a video. Uh, maybe it's easier for you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, step one, uh, you have a hot seat script uh, on this site on this link. I will uh, post this link in the description. Uh, you can see uh, there is a multiplayer campaign script generator. I downloaded it, but it didn't work for me. I don't know why, but it didn't work. So uh, I copied uh, another hot seat script uh, from another guy from that uh, uh, site. And uh, then you have this. You see this. Okay. Now uh, the two factions for multiplayer are uh, set on Egypt and Seleucids. Uh, you can play as two factions or three of all of them. Uh, actually, no, not all of them. I tried SPQR, but you cannot be them. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, so here uh, they're uh, installed as Egypt and Seleucids, but you can change them. Uh, if you want to be, uh, for example, Pontus, you type in Pontus. Oi. Also here. Pontus, and uh, here you fill uh, the other faction uh, what the player 2 is. Uh, same here, so we'll change this to Pontus. Uh, yeah, so we have two players here, but if you want to add a third player, I will uh, test this out with uh, three players. You just copy this and paste this like this. Alright, this is good. And let's be uh, let, as a third player, Daisha. Yeah, why not Daisha? You're shit. But yeah, Daisha. Okay. We fill in here. You yeah you have uh, to fill in two factions then because we have uh, three players. Um, Seleucids. We fill here Daisha. And here. Also Deja. Alright. Okay. So we have Pontus Pontus, Deja. Seleucid. Then Seleucid, Seleucid Pontus Deja. And Deja, Deja Pontus Seleucid. Okay. This is a script. This is a script. Uh, I will um, post this in my uh, description. I will try it. <laughs> Let's see. And you save this. Okay. Where do you um, add this? So uh, you open your uh, Total War Gold map. Uh, if you're, um, yeah, how do you find that? <laughs> I will uh, open this data. It's located on program files uh, on my PC. Steam, Steam apps, Steam apps, common, Rome Total War Gold. And then we have data. Okay, it's here. No, it's not here. It's on the scripts uh, folder. All right. Uh, you have show me and then this is the folder you have to uh, put this in. I already installed uh, an hot seat script, but I will uh, overwrite it. Like this. Uh, okay. Change it. Sorry, it's Dutch. I'm normally speaking Dutch, but uh, I'm trying to uh, talk in English, so it's easier for you. All right. So this is here. Next step, the last step uh, you need to do in uh, the whole room total of folders. You go, uh, yeah, data, okay, you're in the data folder, and you look for, uh, you open uh, the, the document, and you do uh, control F for uh, looking for this, not this, help campaign, uh, underscore, uh, keyboards. All right. And you find, find uh, this section. I already put this in, but normally you see this. So the only thing you have to do is enter and bam. Uh, you save this 
And then, bam, you're done on this computer. Alright, we will now start uh, the game. And I will show you uh, what to do uh, in the game itself. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Skip, 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 skip. Okay, alright. Single player. And you start as uh, the first faction. This we had Pontus as the first faction. I have custom maps, uh, it's... Yeah. Don't uh, look at this. <laughs> and uh, you will just start with the first faction. Skip intro. Okay, uh, you see here the normal gameplay, blah blah blah, normal armies. Uh, to prove uh, it's actually the same campaign, I will move some units. Uh, you can camp here at the shore. Uh, you uh, uh, are allowed to be on this bridge, or a kind of bridge, okay. Lower the taxes. Uh, I don't really care actually, okay, nice. Okay, uh, what you have to do first, I did my movements already, but uh, normally you press F1 on your keyboard. It's uh, r the right to the escape button, so F1. Then you come on this, keyboard shortcuts. You push this, From this, scroll, you can this stupid woman talks, then you have to click on show me how. And then after this, the script is working. It's a script activation. Activator, whatever. You have to do this on every turn. Every faction, every turn. So, now we did our movements. Where's my diplomat? Oh, here. Okay. And then we just press enter. Alright. As you uh, can see, save succeeded. If you see that, you're fine. It's, it's working. Then uh, you press this. And now you have two options. If you're uh, emailing um, the, this hot save uh, campaign and you just close the game and send the quick save file to uh, to the other player, but if you want to play on the same computer, you just press Control L again. Control L. So I press this, and then bam, you go to the next faction, the Seleucids. All right. And to prove uh, it's a fa same faction, I will use a cheat toggle foe to clear the uh, focal war. And bam! You see, there's nothing here. Uh, it's the same movement, and the spy is gone. He's probably hiding, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay. Yeah. So, you see, I will press F1 again. Press this, From click on this, and bam, the script is once again... Uh, started. Alright. I will use this unit to attack this one. I don't know why. Just show we are uh, besieging this shit. Oh damn, that was stupid. Okay, bam. Alright. Uh, let's attack this. Why not? <laughs> Mercenaries. Okay. Oh, what? Okay, bam. And if you uh, wanna uh, end your turn, just press this. Yeah, uh, send your spy over here. Alright, that's fine. Parfia is attacking me. Retreat. Ah. Lift the siege! This is a very important thing. I will talk about this later. And save succeeded once again. Control L again. And bam, we go to Dacia. <laughs> I already forgotten uh, what the third faction was. It was a shitty Dacia. Look at the flag, it's it's just shit. And bam! You can see here uh, we won this war, a battle, whatever. Egypt didn't attack me. No, it's, it wasn't even their turn, excuse me. Okay, and bam! You do F1 again, click on this, this scroll, click on this, and yeah, easy peasy. But thing is, 
chances are big if you finish all three factions, all your factions basically, your game will crash if you wanna press Ctrl L again. So I will um, and turn and save succeeded. I do a Ctrl L. Okay, it works now. I don't know why, but sometimes it cr it crashes. But don't worry, the save uh, the save file is is quick save. It's it's done. It's 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 uh, it's safe. You can just start up your game again and play again as Pontus if that happens. All right, uh, I will quit the game and I will show you one more thing. Okay. Yeah, uh, another background. Okay, the rules. I saved this. Uh, there are some things I want to talk about about this mod. So, uh, first, if another faction attacks your forces, it can be an auto resolve. What does that mean? Uh, you uh, uh, you saw earlier Parthia attacked me. I had the choice to flee or to fight. But, for example, we have this uh, order of turns, factions, whatever, it's a small order. You have the Julii, that's player 1. Then you have the Brutii, that's AI controlled, Scipii, AI controlled, SPQR, SPQR. Seleucids is player 2. And Pontus and Egypt. If you are the Julii, and you besiege a settlement of the Scipii, and the Scipii attacks you but, uh, on the, the end turn button, then you can choose, or you will want to fight or flee. But, if an army of Pontus attacks your army, then the AI will choose. And that will probably be an auto resolve, because the AI will probably, yeah, not flee. <laughs> Same for Seleucids, if, uh, if you're besieging, uh, I don't know, an Egypt, Egyptian um, settlement, and they will attack you, you can just choose... Uh, you want to flee or fight, but if the the, the brute eye attacks you, yeah, you don't have the choice. That that's yeah, that's understandable. Okay, next, auto auto manage. What does that mean? You'll notice if you want if you do an end turn and it's once again your faction's turn, you'll notice all your settlements are on auto manage always. What you ever do, what you gonna do, I don't. The game doesn't care, it's on auto manage. But we tested it on the playlist. If you um, lower or hide the taxes, you will get the money. You will actually get the money. The auto manage uh, comes up at the beginning of your turn, so you get the full money. So don't be afraid. If uh, your auto manage uh, lowers your taxes and you get less money, no, it's not that. It's not that bad. Okay, three. No reports. That does mean you don't get uh, any announcements uh, at the beginning of the turn. No Senate missions, no faction leader died or whatever. Uh, no war, no diplomatic missions, no end turn, uh, financial report, whatever. You won't get that. So you have to uh, uh, watch that personally on everything. So check your diplomatic uh, relations with other factions at the beginning of every turn. Check uh, if any leader died on the plague or peacefully, whatever. Just check it all. If a spy uh, was killed by an assassin of a, an AI army, or AI assassin, excuse me, uh, yeah, don't be... Uh, Surprised if anyone died. Okay, four Senate missions? Question mark. The 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 link I will put in the description of the creator uh, told me that you will get the the first Senate mission, but that's the only one. You won't get any other missions. But that's not actually true. I played, uh, no, I'm still playing this playlist on the Rome Totowara Hot Seat campaign, and you have to check your Senate missions. You don't get it very often, but you will get them. Just check it out. And uh, five, another, uh, uh, attack another player. If, uh, for example, here uh, Seleucids attack the Julii, the Julii army will be AI controlled. And that's not really fair, because AI sucks at this game. So, 
solution is auto resolved. Uh, just auto resolve every battle if you play an, uh, against another player. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, if you have any questions, um, comment in the, the comment section. And yeah, peace out.